Good late Sunday evening. I am certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on the September 29th of 2019. We thankfully had a much calmer day across the area after we had to deal with scattered strong to severe thunderstorms uh, throughout yesterday afternoon and into last night. We'll keep things quiet for a few more days before we see finally some fall-like air work back into the area. And hopefully we can say goodbye and good riddance for the rest of this warmth as we head throughout the rest of the fall season. Here's how we look throughout the course of the day from Indigo Sky, just outside of Seneca, Missouri. We have mostly cloudy skies to start the morning out, and then we gravitated towards generally oh, partly sunny skies throughout the course of the day. We looked good from Indigo Sky. But I'll tell you, it was certainly a bit of a busy Saturday afternoon and Saturday night before we were treated to a nicer uh, Sunday all across the area. We had to deal with strong to severe storms that not only caused some severe thunderstorm warnings and even a quick tornado warning, also dumped quite a bit of rain for some spots that don't need any more rain that need a chance to dry out. For basically the northern half of the viewing area, we averaged almost eight tenths of an inch of rain, just under an inch, but some of the embedded heavier pockets of rain actually caused some flooding issues for parts of the area. In fact, we had uh, some street flooding reported in, in Iola as we got Saturday evening underway, thankfully, the dry day allowed those flood waters to subside. But the uh, severe thunderstorm that fired up in northeastern parts of Crawford County and snuck into uh, northern uh, Barton County, we actually had quite a bit of wind damage with it. In fact, we had some outbuildings damaged on the south side of Bulberry, including a few large tree branches that were uh, blown down uh, in the uh, liberal area. Then once the storm tracked north of Lamar, we had a couple of reports of quarter-sized hail. Then the storms moved on out, and we just stayed nice and quiet, not only from early this morning and through today, but the way things look right now on the Skywatch Storm Tracker. So where do we go from here? Thankfully, we don't worry about rain or thunderstorm chances to start the new work week or school week out. It'll be a warm start, though, and a bit of a windy one, too, as skies stay partly sunny. Then the same storm system that brought us to severe weather, uh, back on Saturday, it will return as a cold front as we head into Wednesday. I'm not expecting severe weather with the way things look right now, but we'll have rain and thunderstorm chances coming back into play as we head toward the second part of the week. And then, of course, thankfully, with that cold front, it will pack more of a punch in terms of temperatures. We will finally see much more mild air working back into the picture. Back at 1016, the 7th of range line late on the Sunday night, we were looking at a uh, nice view from the east side of the city under partly cloudy skies and light traffic on the roads. 87 degrees was the official high at Joplin Regional after we started at 73. Again, it's worth keeping in mind that on a late September day like this around here, we should be starting at 54 in the morning and topping out around 77. Keep those numbers in mind because that's where we're generally going to go as we head into the end of this coming week. We'll get to that in a minute, but 78 at last check at Joplin Regional during the 10 o'clock hour. The south breeze almost pushing 10 miles per hour. It's a little bit muggy, too, with the dew point of 70. makes it feel just a hair warmer. makes it feel like 80 in downtown Joplin and at the airport. Everybody is still warm, kind of muggy, with most of us still in the middle to upper 70s. Throughout the rest of the night, though, even though the skies stay partly cloudy, that breeze lightens up just enough to allow temperatures to drop back to about 72 degrees. So, thankfully, we'll have a bit of a mild start for your Monday morning then. That south breeze with the returning sun kicks back into gear. We'll go to 79 by 10 o'clock and pushing back into the lower 80s by noon as we get Monday afternoon underway. Aside from maybe a quick shower, if not very light spots of drizzle in a few parts of southeast Kansas and northeast Oklahoma, we are looking quiet on the Skywatch Storm Tracker. The bulk of the action has lifted back to the north as we had that front lift back to the north as well. So to start the work week out, this is what will be dominating our weather. This upper level ridge centered over Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and even parts of the Florida Panhandle. That will keep us dry, but it will also keep us windy and warm for not only your Monday, but Tuesday as well. Then we'll see this next upper level low work in. It's waiting in the wings still up in the Pacific Northwest, helping to bring in colder air. In fact, enough colder air to cause some snow, early season snow in parts of Montana. We won't see any snow chances uh, working in as we see that upper low move on later on in the week. But as it does move along, it'll send that front 
back our way to bring rain chances back in, and that's what also what will bring in that cooler air. For the rest of the night, no rain, no thunderstorms to worry about. We'll keep skies partly cloudy, and at least that breeze on the relatively lighter side of things. It'll be out of the south at 5 to 15. That'll mean overnight lows across the area will be dropping off to about 72. As we proceed throughout the day, what starts as a partly sunny afternoon, I would be surprised if it turned mostly sunny to help allow temperatures to warm up a bit more. Let's say 82 by noon, and then afternoon highs around 86. So, a nice day ahead of us. However, if you have outdoor plans, keep an eye on that south breeze at 10 to 20. We could have some gusts here 25 at times. At the very least, that breeze will ensure that we have highs across the area back into the mid-80s for Monday afternoon. We will continue to keep an eye on eventually that returning storm system as we roll through the rest of the future track. It stays to our northwest as we head into Tuesday, so we'll say back into the mid-80s for Tuesday under partly sunny skies with rain chances staying out in central and western parts of Kansas. As we head toward Wednesday, though, that front begins its approach toward our area once again, so we're going to have some of our northwestern counties get in on some scattered thunderstorms as we head into Wednesday. Most of us will have another warm day with highs again back into the mid-80s. Then everybody gets in on the rain chances as that front sweeps through on Thursday. Then once we see that front temporarily sink back south, we may have a few showers to start Friday morning out. Look at temperatures to start Friday out. We'll be in the mid-50s to start Friday morning out, a chilly start, but then looking great for Friday afternoon, partly sunny, and highs topping back out at about 71, 72 degrees. That is certainly more fall-like air than we will certainly take. We just have to get past a couple 86-degree days for tomorrow and Tuesday, 85 on Wednesday. And even though I'm seeing the rain chances wanting to stick around as we head toward the weekend, that will keep temperatures certainly closer to where we should be for this time of the year, upper 60s to lower 70s, and morning time lows passing between the mid-50s to about 60 degrees. Have a good night. Have a great Monday.